Hi everyone, my name is Ethan Eagle. Um, currently a postdoc here at Sandia National Labs. Uh, in six weeks or so, I'll be starting as a faculty member uh, in mechanical engineering at Wayne State University. The work that we do here at Sandia uh, impacts automotive efficiency, uh, in particular the heavy duty industry, which is transportation and trucking. Uh, you might not know that the, the sort of fleet average mile per gallon of a long haul diesel truck is about six miles per gallon but the super DOE Super Truck Program, which is the funding body that supports our research, has developed a vehicle that makes 12.7 miles per gallon. So it's more than double the current fleet average. Um, and that's still with engines that are only 80% of their maximum thermal efficiency. Um, what that means to a consumer is that less than half of the fuel that you put into your car actually goes to making your car move forward. So they're less than 50% thermally efficient. Uh, now, maximum theoretical efficiencies are only about 60% or 65%, depending on the, the, the engine architecture. But that means that we're, you know, our engines are only getting a B grade, right? They're not achieving at 90% or above 90% of their maximum potential. The work that I'll be doing at, at Wayne State is, is focused on how to understand in-cylinder mechanisms that, I, that will allow us to achieve those higher thermal efficiencies, reducing heat transfer in the engine, um, as well as in, enhancing mixing. The other thing that we're trying to do is not just maximize vehicle efficiency, but also minimize vehicle pollution. And one of the thrusts of my research lab will be to use this other 50% of the energy that you use when you burn an engine, 50% goes to moving you forward, but that other 50% is thermal waste. But that waste heat is used in, in particular in your gasoline engine's catalytic converter to eliminate pollution uh, and actually convert unburned hydrocarbons back into CO2 and water. So it, one of our goals is to is to design an engine that doesn't just drive at high thermal efficiency, but also potentially could clean the air. So if you if you're enable if you can en enable using that waste heat to to catalyze not just what you're creating in cylinder, but potentially if you're driving in an urban environment where the air quality is poor, you're cleaning the air as it moves through the engine. It's something you can't do, for instance, in a battery powered vehicle. Um, so that's the, sort of the thrust of my research work and the broader impacts are, you know, working to improve urban air quality in urban city centers.